What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Trick. I forgot to set my volume up just right. Actually, it is a little bit high. That's my fault. In any case, Lynn is dead again. Was this the third time? Woo! Yay! I love it. Lynn, you, do you even try? Are you even trying, Lynn? Ah, I died again! <laughs> I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for, crazy woman? Guess I'll just have to go find out for myself. Okay, you just go do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Oh god. Is it the pigeon man? Is it another assassin? No way. Hmm. How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just the time wasn't ripe. Crazy! Oh, she's good. And she is slim. Like the last cop said. Good for her. God, this guy takes a sweet time. What the heck? He hung up? I don't... Why would he call downstairs? Oh, wait a minute. Was that the number in the in her phone book? I don't know. No, no, that's not that's not right at all. No, no, it wasn't. What? Wow, this is what the guy's working on? Are you kidding me? Oh my lord, that is the stupidest way to die. That's the truth behind our locked room murder? So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine. Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off, the murder machine. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. Okay, this is a kind of dumb one. It's probably gonna be hard, but it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of dumb. It's a machine, man. I'm gonna have to wait for his little lamp. You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why's that? You know, because the murderer is mechanical. She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures. But I can manipulate this machine. Now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minutes ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. It looks like the key to solving this one is understanding this Rube Goldberg machine. That's what it's called. When, when things, you know, like a domino effect type of situation, it's the Rube Goldberg machine, and it's... I don't know why the hell this idiot has one. I kind of want to kill him now. Can I kill him? Go! Oh, he's too close. Did I make a mistake here? I may have made a mistake. Wait, where am I? 
But, actually, hold on. Wait, I'm in the lamp? Okay. How did you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? I've always liked small, cramped spaces. Whenever I see a little hole or a crevice, I always feel like crawling in. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. I guess I can... Well, how can you understand that? That makes no sense, you weirdo. You're both weirdos. We're birds of a feather. We should get together and get married. Wait for the phone to ring. And then hop into the phone. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'll go upstairs and go down to the basement. Time is passing, my friend. Trick! Is this the superintendent? I'm so glad. I thought I was all alone. Go there! He hung up? It's all over. It's all over for me. Lin, sweet, cute Lin, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives, matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. And then the old man with the dirty blue dove on his head completely ignored me. If only somebody would give me a kind word right about now. You want to give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun? Let's see. Hang in there. That's all you got? I'd like to see you do better. Ghost! What? Yes, that's it, my man! Lin ran away. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. And then the kettle nearly scared me to death. My life is in complete shambles. That's gratitude for you. We were just trying to warn him when the kettle whistles. Would he have preferred to getting scalded by steam? Well, at least his fate was changed a bit. That's good, anyway. Woo! Ghost! We're going down, baby. There it is. All right, turn that thing on. What? There it goes, the murder machine has started. And if the whole thing plays out, that gun on the wall will go off. But before that happens, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks. There must be some way to disrupt this domino effect. You just have to find it. Here goes. All right. I'm in the ball? There's a toolbox. Ooh, what does this do? Move it. And while we're doing that, wait, what if we stay in it? Oh, that's all it does? Useless. Open the toolbox. Hey, that was pretty good just now. Maybe if we were on a putting green. Well, with a swing like that, maybe you, we could put it to some use here. Good thinking. I just might be able to use this trick somehow. If I could change the path the ball takes. That's great and all, but it looks like we're all out of time this round. No! Don't you die on me! And yeah, I'm out of, uh... Out of stuff here. Hmm. There's really nothing I can do? What the hell? Okay. Ah, well, you died. What are you gonna do? The key to this murder machine is that cheeky little Cupid who fires the arrow if only we get that ball to fly over and hit him. Maybe that would stop our little Mr. Cupid. Guess I'd better... Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. This is a tricky one. Altering the path of the ball somehow. How the hell are we supposed to do that? Hmm. Bam. Bam. OK. 
Okay, I'm on the ball. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Nope. Aha! 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 Open! Ghost! Okay. Uh. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not. I can't get to the. I can't get to the thing! What am I supposed to do? Does this go up? Oh wait! Get back to the ball! Maybe that'll help! Oh no! I can't! What do I do? No! It's over. No! I don't want to see it again! Yes. Okay, so I was partially right. Maybe I wasn't fast enough. Which is making this tricky. Alright, I got this. Maybe. Here we go. Here goes the ball. If I fail this, I'm just gonna fast forward to me successfully doing it. Alright. Stop. No, not yet. We're not high enough. Or we gotta fall! Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Um. Yeah, we can't open it yet. Or should we? You know what? Maybe we do open it. Trick. Ghost. Ghost, 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 ghost. Nope, that's wrong. Okay. Damn it. Shoot, the ball hasn't fallen yet. God damn it. Yes! Woo! You live. What just happened? It looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased again. Uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promise. It's all for my own benefit anyway. What could this room be all about? I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end. Those were party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. 
Well, shall we go back now? Back to your new present. Hmm, somebody knew I would do that. Sizzle, are you there? Lin is talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there, I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl whether you talk to yourself or not. Okay. How do you want me to contact you, lady? Come on now, help me out here. Oh, I can just do that, right. You are here, I knew it. I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that, oh, ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Did I say anything? There, that tone. It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. So, did you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. All by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case. Some big mystery, I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. I'm dead, woman. Are you that stupid? I'm dead. Dead men tell no tales? Lynn is on my only lead. I would like to ask her about a few things. So, did you Google me? The five seconds it takes to Google me yet? Dear Lord, stop dying and Google me. About the one who shot me. You have your life and your memory back now. Ugh, the worst thing about playing on a DS is... Ugh. I have to look down at an angle and it just kills my neck. If there was some way I could record while lying down, that would be amazing. Maybe I should just start looking at my big monitor. You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that'd be the hit beep be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot, maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry, I wish I could be more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect though. I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information. I wonder what info I had for her. Bo. Oh. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camila? How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What happened? Is Camila alright? She's fine, thanks to her loyal friend Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my! What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camila and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them, the people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Hmm? You know what they say, when it rains it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. I'm starting to hate her! So I had some important information that you wanted. That's right, you called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead. Eh? 
Eh? God, that's gonna piss me off so much. Huh? Eh? They just repeat what the last person said and go, eh, huh? Ugh! Okay, calm down. Calm down. You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it? Even given how fishy it sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I can't talk about it. But I guess I understand. What are you going to do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camila. The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Sissel? What are you going to do? I don't know to tell you the truth. You're my only lead. If you leave... I just realized, you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. And I'm gonna end this video here, so stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!